During the Vietnam War, Americans honored prisoners of war and troops missing in action by wearing bracelets with their names on them. I had one when I was growing up. Decades later, one of our colleagues here at Fox decided to track down the man on his bracelet. Chief National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin has this story for us from Washington. Hi, Jen. Hi, Martha. Well, as war raged in 1970, a quiet effort started by two sorority sisters in California to show support for the POWs shot down in Vietnam took off across America. Students began wearing bracelets with the name of an American POW and the date he was shot down. Stars like John Wayne, Princess Grace, and Sonny and Cher wore them. And our own Fox editor, Brad Paxton, did as well. Fox News editor Brad Paxton was one of those kids who sent his $2.50 away to purchase a bracelet. His bracelet honored Navy Lieutenant Dave Carey, shot down in North Vietnam on August 31, 1967. I'd say 50% of my junior high school was wearing the bracelet. This was a way to show support for the troops. Paxton recently decided to try to find Lieutenant Dave Carey. He found him in Texas. Carey spent five and a half years in the Hanoi Hilton. I sent him an email and a picture of the bracelet, and to my surprise, within like minutes, he emailed me right back. Those bracelets were incredibly important to us uh, as a kind of lifted our morale. Carey recalls the day he was shot down. The missile went right between us. There was a huge explosion. Fireball blew the tail section off my airplane. And the beatings. My arms didn't work for weeks and weeks. I ate by wiggling around in my stomach, stick my face in a bowl of rice. Meanwhile, back in California, the woman who started the POW bracelet movement, Carol Bates Brown, was a student at Cal State Northridge. When it really took off like it did, it, it was just shocking and unbelievable. I think we distributed something like five million bracelets. I always knew where the bracelet was. I never forgot his name. Even 50 years later, I could tell you about Lieutenant David Carey. He's a genuine American hero. And I'm just humbled to have had a small footnote in his story. We kept our sense of humor and we kept the faith. Faith in ourselves, faith in each other, faith in our country, and faith in God. We'll have the full story tonight on Special Report with Brett Baer. That's Martha. great, Jennifer. Mine was Sergeant John Jakovic, and I've tried to find information on him. If anybody has any, I hope you'll send it to me. Uh, Jennifer, thank you very much. You can help our veterans by making Camel your cause. Fox is teaming up again this year with U.S. Vets a group that helps homeless veterans. You can buy all kinds of camo gear. These are great presents, or you can make a donation, usvets.org, or scan the QR code that is on your screen right now. Thank you, everybody. Happy Veterans Day. We thank all of them for their service, and I thank you for being with us this week. We'll see you Monday.